Hola. I got my Cleveland Cavs hat on. It's turning a little bit sideways because our team is, my team is having a little trouble nowadays. Philadelphia and Portland finked out and Golden State is still dominating despite the fact that one of their stars' wives is interested in other men. Speaking of sharing, since you brought it up, today's edition is about a guy who came into the studio, <clears throat> walked in with a suitcase and freshly dapper and put together. And um, he says to me that I got a fresh cut, but I'm a dirty dude. And I thought everything was going well at first, but then I wasn't sure. My handler started to buckle up and I did like that to wave off the dogs. But he says to me, yeah, I'm a clean cut dude, you know, but I'm a dirty fella. And I knew what that meant <clears throat> without any further definition. Now, some of y'all might not get it. And just, oh man, you talking stupid. You know, you just talking anything. But it's actually a method. The sun is blazing. I thought it was just my lyrics, but the sun is blazing. And in some of these parts, you gotta watch these deer. Because they, I saw one time I was recording and, and a deer was running beside my car. And I noticed that the deer crossed over right behind me. And the car that's behind me, that was behind me, clipped the legs of the deer. Like when I played corner and free safety and the guy tried to get past me. But we're still talking about sharing. And um, so the guy tells me that because he's clean cut, that he's got a dirty background. So he was warning me to let me know that he's not fooled or he didn't want me to be fooled at the fact that he was clean cut, dirty man. So he wants possibly the world to be aware of this concept <clears throat> of being clean cut or being a dirty man. Fresh and dapper, but on a down low, a dirty dude. Now I'm not saying that his he was, he was making a sexual preference. I think it might be more of a lifestyle that I feel like New York embraces the concept of somebody who's a pickpocket artist, pickpocket artist or thief, and they they get they get off sometimes. They feel I listen to their music, and if it's not true, then it ain't true. But it's like they get off on taking things from other people, you know. So you go out and hustle and get it, and then they just lay in the bush somewhere probably off of whatever and then take whatever you earned from you and that's their manly process so I guess this is what this guy is saying and um, because of this threat I feel like he was given I went ahead and and did like this and that let the handlers know that we not letting this guy escape now y'all saw me allow people from time to time to to come in and act up but this guy we didn't let go so what ended up happening was the studio had to be reupholstered because he was sharing information that was a real threat. And so 
I like to say a private prayer for the guy. May he rest in peace because nobody that's grown is willing to listen to it be taken that far. So when your beef is not necessarily with a particular person, maybe it's somebody outside of me, then that is what that is. So I have floral arrangements that was brought into the fold in the equation, you know, because when Goomsville, USA, open up from my call then sometimes things have to happen so maybe the lesson here is maybe you can't share everything maybe you thought you could and maybe you could um, can say what you want to anybody but not everybody so as this guy who comes from a very good neighborhood and was raised by both parents and went to a private school and played high school sports and things, played baseball, and was pretty active. He uh, dated black girls and so he was hip. You know, he was uh, the sun is blazing, which is great. Supposed to be like 80 something from like Wednesday on. So you gotta be thankful to God. I am, despite sometimes having to eliminate some of the creations. But maybe his family will have respect for not only elders, but respect for people and, and maybe they can tell their other siblings do not go into the motel granite environment popping off on some ridiculousness so today is a good day exposure is exposure but you want to keep it right there and that's all you need to know